Hey, welcome back. I'm Kelly from Signature Solar, and today we're discussing the new tariffs on solar panels and how they affect you. We'll dive into the latest tariffs on components affecting PV module pricing, batteries, and other components. Whether you're thinking about going solar for the first time or looking to expand your existing system, this is crucial information. My goal is to help you be informed so you can make the decisions that are right for you. Before we get started, it's important to distinguish between the types of tariffs we're talking about. Previously, solar discussions were focused on feed-in tariffs, which promote renewable energy by offering long-term contracts and fixed pricing for energy producers. Today, however, we're focusing on import tariffs, specifically taxes on imported goods like solar panels and related components. These new import tariffs are the ones currently threatening to pose challenges to the solar industry. So you've probably heard that in May 2024, the United States government announced new tariffs on a number of products imported from China. Of particular interest to us are the tariffs on solar panels and lithium-based batteries. The tariffs on solar panels will increase by 25 to 50 percent while tariffs on batteries will eventually rise by 233%. There will also be tariffs on microchips, aluminum, and steel products. This expansion of tariffs is significant for the solar industry because it means higher cost for solar modules and related components. This could impact your decision on when to buy solar equipment. Other significant developments have arisen with the U.S. International Trade Commission in considering approval of tariffs on solar imports from Southeast Asia, including Cambodia, Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam. This is based on the idea that China is placing workers in and shipping through these countries as a way to avoid paying extra taxes on Chinese-made solar goods. This includes tariffs on solar cells, bifacial modules, and other related components. If approved, these tariffs are set to increase the cost of solar installations as well. In addition, a temporary halt called a moratorium on certain extra taxes on imports from Southeast Asia has expired. These extra taxes or tariffs called anti-dumping and countervailing duties or ADCVD tariffs were put on hold for a while. Anti-dumping tariffs are used when foreign companies sell products at very low prices to undermine local businesses. Countervailing tariffs are extra taxes to counteract subsidies given by foreign governments to their exporters. With the expiration of the ADCVD moratorium and new tariffs in place, we are likely to see significant increase in solar panel prices. Some analyses suggest that prices could rise by 15 cents per watt with overall increases of up to 286% for some modules. These tariffs do not affect existing inventory prior to their implementation. This means there's a window of opportunity to buy solar at panels at their current prices before new stock hits the market at higher prices. For instance, a pallet of bifacial solar panels that cost around $4,500 today could soon cost you significantly more possibly around $1,000 or more extra. While this is a lot of information to take in and may seem overwhelming, it's important to understand the broader context and potential benefits. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey of solar energy, where we've been, where we are now, and where we're headed. On the global scale, China dominates solar panel manufacturing, accounting for exceeding 80% of the world's production. In contrast, the U.S. and India each supply just under 2%. Despite China's dominance, the wholesale cost of solar modules has dropped significantly down to about 15 cents per watt in 2023, a 40% decline since 2020. To put this into perspective, the cost of solar panels has decreased dramatically over the past few decades. In 1990, a solar panel would cost you about $4.50 per watt. Today, it's just a fraction of that cost. This price reduction has been a major driver in making solar energy more accessible and affordable for everyone. Recently, the U.S. has officially surpassed its 5 millionth solar installation 
just eight years after reaching one million. Over half of all the solar currently installed has been put in place since 2020. To date, about 7% of all homes in the U.S. have solar panels and is expected to continue to grow rapidly despite any changes. While residential solar installations account for about 25% of the generated capacity nationwide, they make up 97% of all systems by number. This shows a significant trend towards individual homeowners investing in solar energy, driving the market forward. However, in addition to tariffs, changes in net metering rules in states like California and Arizona, along with rising enhancing costs, have led to a decline in demand for solar panels in some areas. How this will balance out with the new tariffs remains to be seen, but one thing is clear, acting now could be a smart financial move. A recent article from Solar Power World dated August 1st, 2024, reports that Office of the U.S. Trade Representative is still reviewing public comments on modifying tariffs. A final determination is expected this month, August 2024, and will take effect approximately two weeks after the decision is made. This decision involves adding or increasing tariffs on specific Chinese products as follows. Electric vehicles will be increased to 100% in 2024. Solar cells will be increased to 50% in 2024. Lithium ion non-electrical vehicle batteries will be increased to 25% by 2026. Steel and aluminum products increased to 25% in 2024. Semiconductors will be increased to 50% in 2025. Despite the uncertainties, there are still positive factors to consider. The more people who adopt solar, the cheaper it gets for everyone, thanks to the economies of scale. The Federal Investment Tax Credit still offers a generous 30% tax credit for going solar significantly offsetting cost. With the possibility of price volatility and supply chain issues, you may find it difficult to find the same panels you bought last year or even just six months ago. We understand this can be frustrating and disruptive to your plans. If you find yourself needing to purchase different types of PV modules because the exact panels you previously bought are no longer available, it's not the end of the world. In fact, this situation might even present an opportunity to explore better or more efficient options for your system. Just remember, all panels within a single array must be the same type with the same ratings, wattage, and amperage. However, you can create a separate array with different panels as long as each array has identical panels within it. These separate arrays can then be connected to different MPPT inputs on the same inverter. For instance, the EG412K, as in many other inverters, is designed to handle multiple MPPT inputs, allowing you to connect different arrays for a versatile and efficient setup. So what does this all mean for those interested in solar energy? The new tariffs and changes in the market could make solar installations more expensive in the short term. However, it's essential to stay informed and consider all the factors before making a decision. For those interested in purchasing solar, it's important to know that the market is still very dynamic. While tariffs might raise costs, Advancements in technology and increased adoption rates can drive prices down. This is a critical time to weigh the benefits and challenges carefully. According to a recent article on Alt Energy Mag, understanding these changes helps you make the best decision for yourself even if the outcomes are still uncertain. Given this dynamic market, it's always a great time to consider buying domestic products, especially during periods of uncertainty. While domestic companies may still be somewhat affected by tariffs on certain components, supporting companies that focus on domestic manufacturing can have significant benefits. For instance, Sirius panels are assembled in Brookshire, Texas, and Canadian Solar has a module manufacturing facility in Mesquite, Texas. By choosing products from these companies, you not only support U.S. businesses, but also help reduce reliance on imports that may be subject to tariffs. This support for domestic manufacturing can contribute to a more stable and resilient supply chain, benefiting both the economy and consumers. So what do you think about these tariff increases? How do you think they will impact your plans for solar? 
If you're considering purchasing solar panels, batteries, or a complete DIY solar power system, now might be the best time. Remember, at Signature Solar, our goal is to always find you the best technology for the best price. Whether you're looking to install a new system or expand your existing one, we're here to help you navigate these changes and make the best decisions for your energy needs. Solar energy is more than just a smart investment. It's a step towards a sustainable future. Despite the upcoming tariff increases, there are still opportunities to save and make the most of your solar investments. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions or need further assistance on your solar journey, leave a comment below or visit our website at SignatureSolar.com. There, you'll find innovative products at the best prices, as well as our contact information to reach out to our friendly staff if you need more help. For more products, installations, tips, tricks, or insights into your solar journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest information. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe solar is for everyone. We'll see you next time.